Hey guys, it's Dr. Adrian and in today's video I would like to tell you about 5 best foods for thyroid disease. Now make sure that you listen to the whole video and listen carefully because I would like to tell you in what way you should prepare these foods to get the most benefits from them but also to avoid some negative consequences if you for example prepare them in the wrong way or you eat too much of them. And this is very very important guys. The first ones are Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are amazing for two reasons. The first one is that they're high in selenium. Selenium is important for your thyroid hormone production. If you are deficient in selenium, you will not get enough of the thyroid hormones. And this is very important, guys, because if you are deficient in thyroid hormones, your metabolism will go down, you will start to gain weight, you will not have enough energy, you will start losing hair, okay? So you absolutely need selenium. And one or two Brazil nuts are enough to get the daily recommended intake of selenium. Now, the most important thing about selenium is also that it's a strong antioxidant. So anytime you're producing thyroid hormones, this strong antioxidation will protect your tissues and your cells against the free radicals that are being formed anytime you're producing these thyroid hormones. So not only you're getting protection, but also you're getting more of the thyroid hormones. Now, as I've been saying, the most important thing about Brazil nuts is that you have to soak them. So prepare of the Brazil nuts, the way of you know preparing them is very very important. You have to soak them for at least 10 to 12 hours and then you want to dry them uh, for a better taste and only then you can consume them. This is because they are high in phytic acid, well not really super high but still high and this phytic acid is a natural plant you know toxin that will basically irritate your gut and can suppress other vitamins and nutrients that are being absorbed inside your body. So make sure that you actually soak them for at least you know 10 hours this won't harm you and takes just one night to prepare the brazil nuts to be eaten the next day okay so when it comes to amount the brazil nuts you want to have two to maximum you know three four a day because too much selenium can also harm you okay it's not necessarily uh, true that more selenium is better for you no you want to eat in the optimal quantities so two three maximum four brazil nuts a day okay second best food are green leafy veggies but not all of them because some of them are actually high in goitrogens. Goitrogens are natural plant compounds that basically block iodine uptake inside your thyroid and you don't want this to happen because if this happens you're basically producing less thyroid hormones which means less metabolism which means weight gain and other symptoms of specifically hypothyroidism okay so in order to prevent this you want to eat reasonable amounts of kale and spinach mainly because they are high in goitrogens like for example two to three cups maximum a day especially if eaten raw when it comes to other leafy greens like for example romaine lettuce or for example like butter lettuce you can actually go in higher quantities because they are low in goitrogens and they are great in thyroid disease because they are high in fiber and high in vitamins and this is exactly what you want you want this high anti-inflammatory you know effect on your body you want tons of fiber to basically decrease your blood sugar but also you want this high antioxidant you know benefits that basically protect you against the free radicals so this kind of lettuces i would say are amazing and are very very good in thyroid disease so you can go you know higher like for example two three hundred grams even a couple times a day together with your meals is amazing third best food will actually foods are avocados and blueberries both of them are amazing when it comes to thyroid disease because they are very very low in sugar and this is very important for you why is it important well usually if you're suffering from thyroid disease you also have some form of blood sugar you know imbalance and you're suffering from an excess of insulin inside your body so in order to reduce it and regulate it you want to go for safe fruits like for example avocado that's high in fat and keeps you satiated for a longer time but also blueberries blueberries are very low in sugar and they are a great option if you are a fruit lover another food that is very helpful is wild caught salmon. Wild caught salmon can help you because it's high in omega 3 fatty acids, which are anti inflammatory. Now, in thyroid disease, most of us suffer from high inflammatory state. And you absolutely want to work on it to decrease this inflammation and also calm down your immune system. Anytime you're suffering from thyroid disease, 
most of you also suffer from high autoantibodies. And if you consume more of omega-3 fatty acids, this can actually help you to decrease this immunity and decrease this inflammation to you know, decrease also these autoantibodies and improve your blood tests so you can get rid of your thyroid symptoms, okay? So include at least once a week wild caught salmon in your diet, preferably more like for example, two, three, four times a week if you can afford it. If you can't, make sure to get a supplement like for example, cod liver oil or krill oil. In this way, you are improving your omega-3 fatty acids intake. Another food, now fifth point, can help you also to decrease this inflammation and it's actually an oil, extra virgin olive oil. This oil has also high omega-3 fatty acids content and this is the preferred oil that you want to be using if you suffer from thyroid disease. Now, have at least one or two tablespoons of this oil a day, but don't go, don't go crazy like for example five, six tablespoons because as you probably know, oil is also a little bit caloric and if you want to lose weight in thyroid disease, you don't want to exaggerate with oil. So you want to get the optimal amount of omega-3 fatty acids, but not you know this extra amount of calories so just go with one or two tablespoons add it to your salad for example just for the taste don't fry on this oil too much because this oxidizes the oil and unfortunately it also decreases the benefits that you are getting from this oil so preferably use it raw get you know high quality oil and use it you know on top of your fish or for example use it together with your salads Guys, that's everything in today's video. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'm more than happy to see you in the next video.